south of Calgary, there's this little town called Okotoks, and in that town, there's a little hidden gem called Fo Huai. Fo Huai has been a Calgary staple for over 30 years, knocking it out of the park with Vietnamese classics. Well, we've caught up to the matriarch of the Fo Huai dynasty. How are you today? Good, good. Oh my gosh, I am such a fan of pho, hey? Yeah. It's delicious. Uh, yeah. On a winter day like this, I would say uh, top five soups to have, yeah? Yeah, yeah. my special soup, uh, satay soup number 15, very no, nice. Number 15, but number one in our hearts though, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every day at 10 a.m., Teresa is forced to double her seating capacity because by 11 a.m., it's tough to get a seat. Husband and wife team Roger and Lindsay are bringing the Fo Huai experience to Okotoks. So this here is our final famous pho and broth, but in order to get to here, we have to do a lot of other steps, so come on back. So this one here is our beef bones. In order to get to this point, it takes about 10 hours to simmer, but even before we put them in the pot with the water, we do have to clean them properly, so then they are able to become that nice, clean, clear broth. So you see my mother-in-law behind me, she is actually skimming off some of the fat content on the broth. The reason why we do this is because the, um, the, all the fat and the marrow from the bones makes the soup a little bit cloudy. And in order to have a nice broth for the pho, you need to have a clear broth. So the reason why we do this is because one, we want the clear broth and we don't want the flavor to be compromised as well. So this one here is our secret spice blend that consists of nine different spices. It also does include uh, star anise, cinnamon, and then we put our finishing touches of salt and sugar as well before we even get to this point in this pot. All the ingredients are eyeballed and measured out with experience. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cook it to bring out the flavors of all of the spices. Then after we toast them for a few minutes, we get a little bit of color on them. Uh, we'll top this up with water and let it simmer for about one hour. And then after it's done cooking, we'll strain all the spices and, and then it becomes a liquid spice. This is our secret spice blend that makes our soup just so phenomenal, phenomenal. If, if you could only smell the aroma when we cook this in the restaurant, you know, if Smell Vision existed, you would be down here in a heartbeat. Softened rice noodles get a finishing bath in boiling water that will set the stage. we keep the rare beef is because it actually uh, makes the meat really juicy and tender. A lot of people get scared about rare beef but because the broth is so hot and the meat is so thinly sliced that it cooks within seconds. Uh, the first spice or the first sauce is our satay sauce, the spicy peanut sauce. It's signature to us and to us only. So that beautiful clear golden broth being poured over top of the meat. You can see that it's cooking within seconds there. What makes your soup so unique? Mm. Love. Yeah. Love. Yeah. Love that only Mother Teresa could give, I yeah. think. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> So this holiday season, if you find yourself in lovely oak toast, stop by Fo Hua and get a virtual hug from the inside and put the fa la 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 back in your step for the rest of your shopping. Until next time, I'm Rolf the Eating Guy. <laughs>